What's going on guys? So today I just want to go over a couple things I got in trade. So this is a familiar knife. I just did a video not too long ago about this uh, original Spyderco Matriarch. And uh, I got rid of mine and there was a, a ton of interest. I got messages. I'm still getting messages about it. You know, do you have it for sale? Do you have it for trade? And I didn't, but I just got a new one in trade. So this one is going to be for sale. Um, looking to finance something else. Um, we've been building on our uh, you know, security system for the house. So it'll be nice to be able to pay that off. So I'm going to be selling this knife right here. Uh, not on uh, YouTube because it's just too hard to communicate here, unfortunately. It used to be a really great message system, but not any longer. Uh, but that will be available for the people who know how to uh, uh, contact me. So anyway, besides that, first of all, I got some extra stuff in here. I always love getting, you know, little bonus things in trades and stuff. And they sent me some band-aids, which will definitely get used. They also sent some candy. And, uh, you know, my whole life people told me, don't accept candy from strangers. But here I am, 36 years old, getting candy from strangers. A couple of uh, Werther's there, uh, which is just a nice surprise. Anyway, besides the very cool matriarch, which I'll leave open in the background for you to look at, um, more of the reason I wanted to post this video is to talk briefly about Two Sun Knives. Um, you know, it's a, it's a well-known secret, <laughs> and I say that because either you know or you don't know, um, uh, among the knife community, uh, about these Two Sun Knives. These Two Sun branded knives are actually really awesome for the price. People love them, people hate them, uh, people who hate them are, are basically, I mean, at least from what I've seen, mostly guys who collect, uh, some higher-end stuff. And they see these as like inferior, cheaper knives or whatever. But honestly, most of the people, like 90% plus people who I talk to who mention Two Sons knives, loves them. I actually have a couple of them. There's a different model, which I've been using on and off for months now, which I want to do a video on eventually. Uh, but overall, I have to say, it's been impressive. It has been impressive for the price, all right? Um, but I forget what model this is. I'm sure you guys can even tell me because it's, it's fresh, it's new in the trade. I just kind of agreed upon it. Um, but it's really interesting. So kind of a, a stubby little guy here, and uh, very cool flipper. This one is in S90V, which is really an amazing steel. It's everything S30V is, and some, just like you would think, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, it's like I said, it's kind of short and, and stubby, but it's very, very cool. Comes to a very lean edge here, extremely sharp. Um, locks up very good as well, and it's a, a flipper. Uh, I opened this package like a few minutes ago and when I was first kind of pushing on the slipper, I could not open it. It was like, it felt like it was glued shut, pushing down, ugh. And I realized this style flipper, it just happens to be one of those that you have to sweep down. A lot of times I'll push in, like I'll put pressure inwards and then down to really shoot it out. It does not work with this at all. You have to sweep down as, as if you're kind of like following the lines here, you know, so just sweeping straight down with no pressure inwards works great. Um, shoots out and locks up fantastic but yeah anyway two sons knives I kind of want to get the conversations going in the comment section about them do you know about it do you love them um, you know have you never heard about it or did you get one and not like it I just I love to hear about it they have uh, a bunch of different you know models a lot of uh, options they use some premium materials some higher-end steels and the prices are quite reasonable compared to a lot of the uh, you know the offerings right now in the knife community um, but yeah, I mean, I've had good uh, experience with them thus far. I kind of, you know, at first I blew them off a little bit. People were talking about it. I'm like, eh, it's just another, you know, Chinese brand. You know, how many different Chinese knife brands can there be? I do love some of them. You know, some of the higher end Chinese uh, cutlery is just really, really great. I mean, Wee Knives is definitely up there for me. Best Tech, just really some amazing stuff. And Best Tech is making some knives for some custom makers. So they have a production version of their knives extremely impressive stuff from both those companies um you know but two sons has been on the radar for a while you see a lot of these on like amazon and stuff and uh you know at first when i first heard about it, i'm like yeah whatever you know and then i got one i'm like eh, that's pretty good and then i ended up training off got another one the second one that i got which again the name's escaping me as is this one um but i was really impressed with it i love it and uh, i want to start using it eventually do a review on it but now i have another one in uh, in the rotation but anyway, just wanted to uh, touch upon that. And although I am an exception to the rule, do not accept candy from strangers. Just don't do it. It's not a good idea. All right, take my advice. So that's it for now. Just a, a quickie for you guys. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Again, talk about uh, Two Sons Knives in the comment section because I'd love to hear your opinions on them.
but overall I've been I've been pretty impressed so I think they should be focused on as an option for maybe some higher end steels like this uh, S90V. I mean you want to get a blade with S90V it's going to cost you. It, you know it's a premium steel. It's not super commonly used. You will see it on you know Sprint One, um, Spydercos, you know you'll see different companies pop out you know, a knife or two here in uh, in S90V, but it's not like really, really common. And you're definitely gonna pay for it. It is expensive. So having these options, you know, assuming this is genuine S90V, that's where some of the questioning comes into play because some of the knives overseas, I mean, they can put whatever stamp they want on here. Is this actually S90V? Well, I'd have to use it for a long time, directly compare it to another knife that I know is S90V. You know, some people ask me these questions too, like, hey, you know, I got this knife and it says it's this steel. Do you really think it's that steel? I don't know. I'm not a metallurgist. You know, I have a lot of experience with a lot of different knife steels, but unless I literally go side by side, it's just hard to tell because the premium steels, a lot of them just hold a really good edge. So unless I'm like specifically focusing on that comparison, it's hard to tell. Either it holds an edge for a while or it doesn't. Uh, if it says S90V and this thing gets dull fairly quickly, you could write it off as being fake, you know? It's not actually S90V. And the same thing goes for any of them. S30V, 154CM, any of it. Sometimes you'll have some Chinese knives that say 440C and they're not even that, you know? Um, but it's just, it's just hard to tell. You really have to do a lot of testing and nothing's really scientific there either. It's just, you know, when you use knives for so many years and so many different types of, of blade steels and stuff, you get a feel for it. And it's like, yeah, that's probably real, or no, that's probably not real. That's really where, where it ends up. But anyway, that's all. Just kind of uh, curious. This will be available for sale. Don't know a price yet on that. Uh, maybe take our offers. We'll see. But um, this one here is uh, going to be you know, put through rotation. Not sure if I'm going to do a review on this one, but I'm definitely going to do a review on a different Two Suns knife uh, that I've been using and been very impressed with. So that is all for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a fantastic day. And I will see you tomorrow with another video. Take care.